at long last, the moment that Tesla enthusiasts around the world have been waiting for, has arrived. This isn't just another electric vehicle announcement. It's a seismic shift in the automotive and energy landscape that will redefine everything. We thought we knew about affordability, mass market production, and sustainable transportation. Elon Musk, known for pushing boundaries and ignoring conventions, has just made a declaration that Wall Street, legacy automakers, and skeptics alike never wanted to hear. A new, game-changing electric vehicle code named the model, Tuus, coming in 2026, and it's not being built for millionaires or enthusiasts. It's being engineered from the ground up for the masses. The foundation for this revelation lies in a subtle but powerful statement Musk made previously, saying, the real thing which we're trying to focus on is affordability and using our existing lines. For those who missed it, the implications of this were enormous. It wasn't just about building another car, it was about constructing an entire system using existing infrastructure to deploy millions of vehicles worldwide, silently and efficiently, before competitors even understand what's happening. But why the year 2026? And what does this mean for cities, villages, and developing regions across the globe? The truth behind Tesla's global positioning of the Model 2 is far more strategic and coordinated than most realize. This new vehicle isn't just a product. Launch it's part of a long-term vision that connects Tesla's energy business, battery innovations, software development, and manufacturing ecosystem into one synchronized operation. One of the most overlooked proponents in this puzzle is the Megapack expansion happening right now in Angleton, Texas, between 2025 and 2026. Tesla is finalizing construction of what will become the largest Megapack cluster in the world, with an astounding 1.2 gigawatt hours of energy storage capacity. For context, each individual Megapack provides 3.9 MWH enough to power 3,600 homes for a full hour. However, what truly matters is how this energy storage ecosystem supports Tesla's manufacturing ambitions, particularly at Gigafactory Texas, where the Model 2 will be produced at scale. The connection is revolutionary. Stable, low-cost energy equals lower car production costs. Tesla's integrated approach to vertical energy generation and storage is designed not just to stabilize energy prices for their factories, but to create a financial feedback loop for consumers through vehicle 2-grid V2G capabilities. The T Model 2 is expected to be equipped with cutting-edge lithium, iron phosphate, LFP battery systems, specifically optimized for daily energy discharge and recharge, without significant degradation. Imagine a scenario where 1 million model to south charge overnight during low demand and discharge energy back into the grid during peak hours. That's an estimated 15 gigawatt hours per day 15 times more than the current total battery storage capacity of the entire state of Nevada. That's not science fiction, it's Tesla's V2G ecosystem at scale. What's more, Tesla's next generation 4,680 battery cells are designed to enable this vision, providing up to 390 miles of range with 20% lower costs than the current Model 3 batteries. That alone results in about $5,000 in production cost savings per vehicle, which means Tesla is not only creating a vehicle but building a distributed energy network where each car becomes a profitable energy asset. Speaking of profits, owning a Model 2 could do more than save you money, it could make you money. Thanks to Tesla's planned automated energy trading systems, owners of the Model 2 could earn $200 to $400 per month simply by allowing their vehicle to participate in energy storage programs while parked at work or home. That's up to $24,000 in profit over five years, turning the Model 2 into not just a car, but a mobile income generator. This strategy isn't just clever, it's a total reinvention of what owning a car means. It's the kind of innovation that legacy automakers still clinging to 20th century dealership models and supply chains simply cannot compete with. So why is Tesla being so secretive about all of this? Why the silence around the Model 2? Even as the infrastructure is being laid and patents are being filed, it's because Tesla isn't just preparing to enter the low-cost EV market, they're preparing to dominate it. The projected price of the Model 2, between $25,000 and $30,000, is a surgical strike against competitors like BYD's Seal $35,000 and Volkswagen's ID3 $40,000. That's a 30% price undercut, which positions Tesla to unlock entire new markets that other automakers have ignored. Currently, EV adoption rates in Africa, Asia, and South America remain below 5%, primarily due to cost. The Model 2 could expand Tesla's total addressable market by 50%, potentially reaching 1.5 billion people who've been locked out of EV ownership, with global EV sales expected to hit 20 million units annually by 2028. Tesla could easily capture 2 million units per year with the Model 2 alone. And remember Elon Musk's 2016 Master Plan, Part 2. This is the realization of that promise, affordable EVs for everyone. But it gets even more profound. 
What if Tesla isn't just counting on affordability but on autonomy? The Model 2 could launch in special editions tied directly to full self-driving FSD, priced around $39,900. This would turn the car from a personal vehicle into a fully autonomous mobility platform, further boosting its value proposition. FSD adoption, currently around 12%, is projected to explode to 50% by 2027 thanks to Model 2's lower price point and massive production scale. Tesla knows this isn't just about building more cars, it's about redefining mobility. The Model 2 won't just get you from point A to bit, will drive you, power your home, and even make you money while parked. Now, let's talk about Tesla's plan to revolutionize traditional transportation. What happens when cars are intelligent, connected, and practically free? Everything changes. The expected price point for the Model 2 between $11,000 and $14,000 after federal tax. Credits and global subsidies is lower than that of a Toyota, Yaris, or Hyundai, i10. Monthly payments could be as low as $85, making this car financially accessible to low-income families around the world. That's not just affordability, it's democratization of mobility. When 70% of the global car being public can suddenly afford a Tesla, we don't just see a shift, we see a transportation revolution. Public transportation systems in many regions, which cost families $130 to $170 per month, could be replaced entirely by autonomous model to south participating in Tesla's ride-hailing network. For millions of working-class people, this means lower costs, more flexibility, and even new income streams. The environmental impact is equally transformative. If Tesla deploys 2 million model to south by 2028, and each vehicle replaces an average of 7.5 tons of CO annually, that's 15 million tons of emissions eliminated. But here's the kicker. Tesla believes each shared autonomous Model 2 will replace 3.2 traditional gasoline vehicles, amplifying its impact exponentially. Urban environments could be reshaped, as continuous use of these cars reduces the need for parking spaces by up to 60%, freeing up land for housing, parks, or other community uses. Families can enroll their vehicles into Tesla's robotaxi fleet, potentially earning $20,000 plus per year in passive income. Compared to competitors like the GM Bolt $31,000 or Hyundai Ioniq 5 $41,000, which lack full autonomy and have higher production costs, Tesla's vertical integration and software-first approach create an advantage that's almost impossible. To beat Datso, how will Tesla distribute millions of model to south across the globe? Their strategy is as bold as it is effective. With current capacity at 2.35 million vehicles annually, Tesla is scaling production to meet demand of 4 to 6 million. Model to South annually by 2027. The Gigafactory army is key to this. Texas aims for 1.2 million units, year. Berlin targets 800,000. Shanghai Tesla's most efficient factory will produce 1.5 million, and the New Mexico factory is projected to deliver 1 million by 2027. This totals 4.5 million. Model 2 units per year and industrial scale never before seen. Tesla's directed consumer sales model bypasses dealerships, saving $3,000, $5,000 per car, while its mobile service fleet will grow to 50,000 technicians globally by 2026. The supercharger network is expanding to 150,000 units worldwide, laying the groundwork for mass adoption.